Hello and welcome to Channel News 6. I'm Muhammad Adnan. Today's top story is on June 20, a 16-year-old student from Westwood High School committed suicide. Although the police officers and family members won't have all of their questions answered because that is the case too many times in a suicide, what we have been able to learn is that the student jumped off the third floor of his school building and left a suicide note saying that he was depressed over his class 11 results. Westwood High School principal admitting everyone was unaware that an 11th grader jumped off the third floor of his school building. That is, until the school's security found the teenager's body next to the school's exit. He was then rushed to a private hospital but couldn't be saved. Different students' bodies protested against the school management over the boy's death. The investigation is still on, a senior police officer said. Now, students have long been prone to struggling with mental health issues from dealing with difficult lessons, overwork, pressure to succeed in academics, and including financial stress. These problems can affect a student's mental ability and performance, which can even lead to stress, depression, mental breakdown, and even suicide. With the pandemic, things may seem to get even worse. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, there are, at, there are four to five Americans between the ages of 16 to 24 reports poor mental health tied to the pandemic. On Thursday, Diane Norman was struggling during her first semester away at college, academically and socially. Virtual classes were more difficult for Diane, who has a learning disability, and isolating COVID restrictions made her anxious and depressed. With her current condition, she attempted to take her own life. Thankfully, a good friend of hers taught her out of it through a phone call. La that call saved her life after she took a handful of pills. Leslie Michelle, a psychologist from the Maternal and Child Health Bureau, go from high school to high school telling their stories of anorexia and severe depressions and encouraging young people to treat their mental health. She also, she also uses her time to collect information about their students' mental conditions. About 60% of respondents felt overwhelming anxiety, while 40% experienced depression so severe they had difficulty functioning. Leslie Michelle's recent studies also state that students are struggling even more during the pandemic. 41% screened positive for symptoms of major depression, another 67% battling loneliness, and 14% have seriously considered suicide in the past year. Now, we all know that this is an anxious time for a lot of students. Local doctors are noticing it too. There has been a spike in the number of students seeking mental health care. NYU Health Services reports they've seen a 22% increase during a recent six-week span when they compared it to the same time last year. Dr. Catherine Hirid, a clinical psychologist at NYU Health Services, gave us a little tour of the new mental health clinic inside NYU Health Services. It was added this summer after seeing the increase of students needing therapy or treatment. Therapists were hired to handle the influx of students filling their waiting rooms. Sometimes they're battling depression, anxiety, other times the stresses of school or college. She says that the health services help schools and universities stop the stigma associated with mental health. NYU Health Services also provide awareness and support for students who are struggling with mental health problems. These efforts are breaking through, leading to conversations that will hopefully make life easier for students and those who need it. For all of us here at Channel News 6, I'm Muhammad Nun, and have a good day.